The goal of Precision OS is to really change how we think about surgical education. It's actually challenging 400 years of dogma, which has been to learn on plastic models or to learn on cadavers. We're creating virtual reality simulation for surgeons and healthcare providers that support the surgeons. I think the first thing is, is the operating room is not a very good environment to learn in. The benefits we're seeing with virtual reality are that it actually provides you an element of stress that's not disabling to your learning. It also allows you to engage in what we refer to as productive failure. So you basically are allowed to make mistakes and then you learn from them. All our stuff is simulated, so when you make a cut somewhere, you can cut anywhere. If you drill somewhere, you can drill anywhere. You're forced to actually do it and possibly fail. This brings it closer to a flight simulator. Pilots, when they get in a plane, they've had to have quite a few hours in the simulator, and you know that they've done this. In surgery, it's just unethical for them to practice on people, and so VR is exciting because it moves it closer to that model and they can practice and fail hundreds of times in a simulator or in VR. That's where you want them to fail, not on you, and so that's what we're trying to help with. We chose to use the Unreal Engine because they focus on high fidelity, and we wanted to make sure that we hit that high fidelity mark right from the outset. On top of that, Unreal has everything built into it. So when we first started, we were working out of our basements. We just needed our engine to do a lot of things really quickly. We didn't have time to write our own stuff. One of the first things was write a simulation around tools to cut, to drill, to ream bone, to simulate bone density. It's a very challenging thing to do, and we're one of the only companies that are doing it. The Quest was a game changer. Be able to take a self-contained VR headset anywhere on the road, put it on, and you're in, provided the frictionless experience that our customers really needed. For example, we did a session where we had at least 100 people using Quest at a time, which was just amazing to see. We compared VR to non-VR in senior trainees in orthopedic surgery, and then we had them perform that same procedure in cadavers. They were assessed by surgeons from across the country not associated with our company. And what they found was that clearly the VR group was superior in technical skill and in safety compared to the non-VR group. And interestingly, the virtual reality group also learned the information 570% faster. That's now been published in the leading orthopedic journal. We're learning from trainees that when they get into this, they're hungry for knowledge and they're hungry for experience. So how do they get that practice before they get to the OR? Everybody wants to be a master at their craft, and you don't do the same procedure over and over again to become an expert, because every patient is different. It's doing the same thing with variation, which actually brings you to, towards expertise. And that is what we focus on with our technology. 